Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, we're gonna to be working on our right hand technique as I break down five finger picking patterns over a one, six, four, five progression in the key of C. Now, each pattern that I show is gonna be a little bit more difficult than the last, so I recommend getting lots of repetitions and lots of time, lots of practice before moving on to the next. Let's get started. Okay, we have a close look at the neck and also my right hand. We're gonna start off learning the chord shapes that we're gonna be applying these finger picking patterns to. We're starting off with the C major chord. My third finger is here on the third fret of the A string. My middle finger is here on the D string, second fret. And my first finger is here on the C note found on the first fret of the B string. So I have C, E, and a higher C, strumming from my A string down. Next, I have my A minor chord. Middle finger is here on the second fret of the D string. Third finger beneath that, second fret G string. And my first finger here on the first fret of the B string. Next, I'm going to go into an F major bar chord, a little bit more advanced. So we're going a bar, first finger across the first fret. My third finger goes to the third fret of the uh, A string. My pinky goes beneath that third fret of the D string, while my, first, my middle finger is here on the second fret of the G string. F major bar chord. For the beginners out there, you might want to just stick to the C and A minor chord while you're trying to perfect these patterns. All right, so, but for the rest of us, we have the F major chord. And then finally, we're gonna to go to a very interesting version of our G dominant seventh chord. My first finger is here on the third fret of the low E string. My middle finger is here on the F note found on the third fret of the D string. And my third finger is there on the B string third fret of the D note. So I have G, F, and D. All right, and then we're gonna be picking through that in various different patterns. But generally, we're not using the A string or the high E string. All right, quick recap. C major. A minor. F major. And G dominant 7. Okay, so each of those chords are being drawn from our C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The first note of that scale was the C major, the C, so we'll call that the 1. The sixth note of the scale is an A note, so that's our A minor. And the fourth note of the scale, C, D, E, F, is our F major chord. And the fifth note, C, D, E, F, G, is that G7 chord. So the one, six, four, five progression, just getting a little bit of chord theory out of the way. Okay, so we have our one, six, four, five, and C down, we're ready to get into our patterns. Now, I have my C major chord ready. We're gonna start off with what I call the basic arpeggio pattern. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so very simple. We're just breaking down the chord, arpeggiating it. The thumb is designated to the A string. My index finger is here on the D string. My middle is designated to the G and my third finger is designated to the B. Now this isn't a what you call a folk style or Travis style pattern. This is more of a classical style grip. Now for the beginners out there, we're just gonna practice breaking it down to uh, ascending first. A string, D string, G string, B string. Now, the goal for you in the early going is just to get right back into that position with each finger designated back onto the string. So we have, get all the fingers right back, Just use that as an exercise until that's muscle memory. Once you have that down, we can get into the descending pattern. So we have ascending, and then right back G string, D string. This is a very easy pattern, but very common. It's been used on songs like Unchained Melody, tons and tons of 50s tunes. There it is over C major. Let's try it over the A minor chord. Now our F major chord, but this gives me a really good opportunity to break down one of the fundamentals of finger picking. When the root changes, the thumb has to follow along. So over the C and A minor chord, we had A string, D string, G string, B string. But with our F and G major chords, the root is found here on the E string. 
So that's the only thing that's gonna change. So I had the same pattern, but my thumbs on the E string, the index middle, and uh, ring fingers are still designated to the uh, D string, G string, and B string. I'll do the same thing on the G7 chord. Before going back to the C and reverting back to the original pattern, A string, D string, G string, B string, G string, D string. Okay, moving on to pattern number two. We call this one the outside inside pattern. Sounds like this. Okay, so this is a pattern that I borrowed from the ukulele. And the first thing I want to mention is that it's not a classical style position. We're going to actually change our finger positions to a folk style, which means that the thumb is now designated to the thick strings E, A, and D. And my pointer finger and middle finger are designated to the G string, B string, and high E string. So we're singling out four strings, the A string, D string, G string, and B string. And we're going to start off plucking the outsides. That's going to be that A and B. So within these four strings, the A and the B would be on the outside, so we play A string, B string. Then the thumb's gonna go down to the D string, and the index finger is going to pluck the G string. So I have A, B, D, G, outside, inside. This is a great pattern for beginners. And once you get it faster, it's very impressive. All right, we're gonna apply that to our one, six, four, five progression in the key of C. We have the C major chord twice, the A minor chord, the F major chord. Ah, and I changed my thumb again. So the thumb's always following our roots as we go up to these E rooted chords. Everything else stays the same. Same thing on the G major chord or G7. Let's try that again, nice and slow. Outside, inside pattern. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Change my thumb to E. Outside, inside, outside, inside. G7 chord, outside, inside, outside, inside. And back to the C chord. Okay, here's pattern number three. We call this one the staggered pattern. Sounds like this. Okay, so breaking it down, we're picking apart the same exact four strings, A string, D string, G string, and B string. The thumb starts off on the A string, my index starts on the G string, the thumb then goes down to the D string as the middle finger takes the B string. So we have thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, and that is our staggered pattern, very similar to the outside inside, but we're just kind of weaving in between that triad. And that right there is a great little pattern. It's very impressive as you get it faster. But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna add in a couple more notes. We have the A string, G string, D string, B string, back to the A string, G string, and then finally the thumb takes one last pick of the D string. Then make it swing a little bit. The A minor. And of course, as we get to the F chord, those E rooted chords, we need to change our thumb. So we'll have the same exact pattern that we had for the C chord, but the thumb's gonna go up to the E string for that F major, and the G major. So all in all, we'll have the C major chord. That's A string, G string, D string, B string, A string, G string, D string. Same thing on the A minor. And then for our F major chord, the E string, G string, then the D string and the B string. Back to the E string, G string, D string. Same thing on the G7 chord. One more time all together.
Okay, we're getting more advanced with it. Now we're moving on to pattern number four. This one's called Travis Style, one of folk music's most popular finger picking patterns. It's gonna sound like this. slow. Okay, so for this pattern, it's very important that we see both the left hand and the right hand because we're going to be adding in alternating bass notes over our C chord and A minor. First, I'm going to show you the more basic pattern without that alternating bass notes. So it's going to have the C major chord. We're going to be playing the A string and the B string together. Then D, G with the thumb and the index. Back to the A string, B string and then D and G again. Double thumb and middle finger, that's the A and B string. D, G, thumb and index. A string with the thumb, middle finger takes the B string again, and then D, G with the thumb and index. Every finger designate, every finger designated to one string. Okay, so you can try that on each of your different chords, the C major, the A minor, F chord, just remember to move your root, your thumb comes up. Again, one of the fundamentals of folk finger picking. We have over the F chord and then the G7 chord. And back to the C. Okay, now that we have the basic pattern down, we're gonna move on to adding in our alternating bass notes. All right, to do this, my third finger on my left hand is gonna be going back and forth between the C note found on the third fret of the A string and the G note found on the third fret of the E string. Okay, to do this, we're gonna change our pattern up just a little bit. It's gonna be double D, G, E as the third finger comes up, B, D, G. And you're gonna to have to get a lot of repetitions of that. For an example, you can check out my uh, lesson on Don't Think Twice, It's Alright by Bob Dylan. We try it over the A minor chord. This time we're not gonna have to do anything with the left hand, but our thumb is still gonna be going up to the E string, hitting the open E string there. Double D, G, E with the thumb, B, D, G. Slowing it down. And over the F chord, we're just gonna do one bass note found on the E string, so our thumb's just gonna come up, we're gonna keep it basic there. We'll just do that once, then over the G chord. So over these E rooted chords, we're just playing the E and B strings together, then D, G, back to the E string. So that root note is gonna remain constant, B string, D string, G string. Okay, moving on to our fifth and final pattern. This one we call the Claw Hammer Travis Hybrid. It's gonna sound like this. Real slow. So the claw hammer Travis hybrid, we call it that because the difference between claw hammer and Travis picking, generally speaking, is the direction in which you pick. With Travis picking, the thumb is always going down, but it's these treble strings, these are all getting treated with upstrokes with the index and middle finger. But with claw hammer, we're doing all downstrokes. And in this technique, we're gonna be using both of those techniques. So we're starting off with a double pick A and B string. Though that's optional, we could just pluck the uh, A string by itself and rather hard too. Next, we're going to play a downstroke with the nail of your middle and index finger, or just the middle, whatever you feel comfortable with. Then we're gonna pluck with the middle finger the B string. So, so far we have. The index finger is gonna grab the G string next, and the thumb's gonna grab the D string. 
And then finally, we're gonna finish up with the index finger striking the G string again. So the thumb is plucking nice and hard there. And we're gonna come down actually with a little bit of a, um, kind of a percussive hit on this as we strum. So it's, it's a very complex um, technique because there's a lot of things going on at once. A hard pluck and a strum, but the sound of the palm kind of uh, hitting the, the body of the guitar and maybe those strings clapping against the wired frets. So something's gonna snap against, maybe it's like the thumb kind of doing like a slap bass kind of uh, technique. And we're still getting that strum in there too. So we have the thumb coming down, slapping against the strings as the index and middle finger strum, and then finally the B string plucks. So we have G string, then we have the D string, and then back to the G string. And that G string is supposed to be the index finger. Now, of course, we're gonna change this when we go to the F major chord. Still doing the same exact technique, except now, instead of plucking the A string in the beginning, we're plucking that E string, and we can do a double there as well with the uh, middle finger and thumb, B string and low E string. That's it. Same thing over the G7 chord. Hammer Travis Hybrid. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on finger picking. I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back, and of course, please subscribe. I'm Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.